or with a stardust ring. There's a lot of options for him to see us. Check it out, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let's take a massive leap. We're 8,000 light years out now. We're gonna go 28 million light years. Can do the math on the way home. 28 million times 5.88 trillion. You're like, are you kidding me? No, you come to the Sombrero Galaxy, just one of the beauties of our universe. You say, oh, that's nice. It looks like a little Frisbee. No, 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 no. It's 50,000 light years wide. It's trillions of miles thick. It just happens to be sitting in space in such a way that we're just above the elliptic plane, almost looking dead on the edge of it, but just six degrees above it. And just up there in all of its splendor, most of you have never seen it before. You say, well, what's it doing up there? Just glorifying God, just showing off the greatness and the majesty of God, just hanging out in the universe that he made, reflecting back to him, his glory tonight and how amazing he is. Since we're in Houston, I wanted just to say just a word of thanks. Um, this image and many of the ones we're seeing tonight have come to us from the Hubble Space Telescope, which I'm sure you've heard of. You're paying for it, by the way. I hope you've heard of it. Um, it's an amazing thing. Here's a shot of it in case you didn't know what you were paying for. You're like, that's it? That's what we get? Yeah, it's fascinating, this thing. Now, this particular photograph was taken in 1997, just after Service Mission 2. The Hubble hangs out uh, 353 miles above the earth. And so it's got a great jump on us getting out outside of our atmosphere and gives us stunning images like uh, we've never seen before. And I was just gonna tell you quickly, Chris and I were at a camp this summer and I was trying some of these space stuff out on middle school and high school students because I figured if it worked for them, it might work for you guys tonight. And they were so cool. They were just like, wow, no way. You know, just like teenagers would be. I was loving it. But I got home and I got a package in the mail and it was a, a DVD of some Hubble images and video and a note. And I started reading the note and just freaked out in my office. I, I've never taken the note out in public, but I've brought it tonight. I'm gonna read it for you. Um, Sorry about that. Um, it, it, I'll, I'll just read it. I've, I don't care if you think this is cool. This is cool. I've never read this in public before. It's never been out among other people before. And I'll just give you the short version. It says, Dear Louis, thank you for your time at our camp. Um, um, the person's uh, uh, children or child were, that was there. And it uh, comes down to the second paragraph. They said you have a passion for astronomy. You may like this collection of HST videos. I was on service mission too. That's what the point I started going, oh. So I too have a special connection to the telescope as it reveals the magnificence of God's creation. Um, in his service, Joe Tanner, and I'm like, Joe Tanner. So I just, I grab, my, um, I grab my computer and I go to the NASA site and I type in Joe Tanner and come to find out he's like an astronaut. I'm like, I have a letter from an astronaut. I got a letter from an astronaut. <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. These guys pay a great price to let us see and know a lot of what we see and know. This next image is a shot of some guys uh, in space working on the telescope. I had to turn it sideways, so don't get confused. It kind of goes the other way, but screens are different. That's the bay of the space shuttle and the telescope is docked into it and these astronauts are updating and working on the Hubble Space Telescope. And Joe Tanner, my friend and letter writer, is the one in the middle right there with his hands on the thing. Um, and he's here tonight. And I'd just like to say thank you to him for being a great friend. And I'd love for you guys to say thank you to him. That's cool. That's awesome. We're gonna go out. We're 28 million light years out at the Sombrero Galaxy. We're gonna go past it to the darling of astronomy, the Whirlpool Galaxy. It's 31 million light years away. And you can see why it's the darling of astronomy. It sits in space completely face on to the earth. It's called a grand design galaxy to which I say right on to that. Um, it's made up of hundreds of billions of stars. Some scientists say 300 to 500 billion stars. It's called a whirlpool because it looks like it could just suck you in 
For a while they thought it was sucking in this white blob over here to the right. You're like, what's that blob to the right? That's a whole nother galaxy, thank you very much. That's NGC 5195 over there. And the Whirlpool's NGC 5194. They thought that it was gonna suck it into the Whirlpool, but no, they're, they're way, way, way far apart. They're never gonna touch each other, rest well tonight. And after billions of years, they'll just pass each other in space. The pink areas, you say it's so pretty with those little pink twinkles. No, those are ferocious star-forming incubators. And stars are being born in there even as we worship tonight. Scientists say every second in the universe, a new star is born. Stars as big as our sun and bigger. It's being put into place. And God's just naming them all and putting them where they are in his universe. But I wanna take you way out. You guys seem like a group that's ready to go way out. I wanna take you so far out, I can't even tell you what we're about to see. I can't even set it up, I can't describe it. There are no words. We are going far, 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 far out. Yes, it is. I'll just let you see it. He made everything we've seen tonight. The scripture says that through Jesus, God made the world. In another place, Paul wrote, he created all things, things in heaven and things on the earth. And you say, well, what's the left turn? We're seeing all these Amazing things out in the universe and now the cross. Yes, the cross, the creator of it all. Coming to that pale blue dot. The maker of the whole wide universe hanging on a cross that he himself created. And you hear the words of Paul, words we've heard many, many times, but so in focus tonight, Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but he made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant and being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. When you hear the writer of the Psalms speaking thousands of years before, and you know why, the Psalm writer said, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. That's who we're worshiping tonight. That's the God we've come here to celebrate tonight. A God who is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Praise God for that. We don't get from God what we deserve. We don't get what we have earned because of our rebellious hearts towards him. But listen to what we get. He says, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, And we don't even know how high that is. Our ruler won't go that far. We 